hey what's up we're in the next part i shall again lead with this caveat please if there is an issue with um speech lag just listen to what i'm saying and so far as you're getting the audio uh in your ears you're good Alrighty. so in the last part i was speaking about how it is that i rejected all things in the darkness right i kept things quite fluffy i kept everything very surface level like i believed in a god but i didn't want to know too much about him because i i i, I just did not want to have to account or be responsible for spiritual activity in whatever i just wanted to keep things surface level and shallow let me just keep like i want to live a normal life you know get married one day picket fence two and a half kids like let's just keep things basic i don't need to you know commune or communicate with the other realm it's too much for me it's overwhelming and exasperating so we're just going to keep things basic light and um just surface level and that mindset rescued me from getting involved in darkness but if i tell you the amount of sorcery that was already in operation in my life by the time i got to guys like what 23 22 23 i had one of my bosses when i was about indeed 22 i found out only when i came to christ that when i quit my job when i left that job to go and work somewhere else she cast spells on me so that i cannot prosper in my career so i can't get very far i still went on right ahead to i guess get elevated up the corporate ladder i was cool and it was only when i came to jesus that i found out that that boss tried to block my progress my growth i spoke about bosses who block growth of their subordinates and all the people in corporate that are deliberately trying to prevent the youth from thriving in one of my other previous series my sets so please go watch that and figure out what it is that god has to say about that right i had a boss of that nature do that to me so at some point in my unfortunate life i would have been this very intelligent bright young woman that would have met with brick walls that i would not be able to understand but it must also be gauged that nothing here on this earth albeit this earth the god of it being the devil happens outside <laughs> of the will of god and the um never mind will of god but um god is sovereign what i want to say permission permission only look at what happened in the book of job when the devil was well, satan was busy roaming up and down with the sons of god the lord is the one that presented job before him and not the other way around he said have you considered my servant job and then the devil went on to ask god if at all he can test job and the lord was like go on right ahead you can do this much and not much more so it turns out that god not only has god uh control and dominion over what 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 the devil can do to christians but also under believers because i was not saved and yet i had this like boss that bewitched me when i was just 22 i only got born again a good five years later and yet i still grew like weeds up the corporate ladder it's like her witchcraft just hit brick walls it just smoked up in the sky like incense and could no longer be comprehended as such once it had evaporated do you understand it did not do anything it didn't touch me but here it is now that i'm a born again child of the living god and it looks as if though i keep on hitting brick walls it looks like i am bewitched it looks like i'm cursed when curses have been in operation all my life that just did nothing they never not in operation is a bad word or a bad bunch of words rather curses have been sent me that did zero they did like nothing in the run-up to there is just so much sorcery being practiced by africans i mean it li likely is just the world at large but you know i'm in africa so i speak to my ecosystem it is so bad like in the cosmos the spiritual war that is happening it's so horrendous that if you were to be given spiritual goggles metaphysical metaphysical goggles to gaze upon the activity in the co in the cosmos you will take them off straight away it's menacing the number of satanic practices that human beings on earth are doing the portals the little wormholes essentially that they keep on opening their seances their ouija board rituals the only thing that is protecting the human race from human beings destroying the earth with demons with devils with satanic activity with metaphysical activity the only thing blocking basically entropy in that regard uh capsizing of the situation or an implosion the only thing blocking it is the fact that these entities that human beings keep running towards in order to achieve metaphysical goals here on earth like to give themselves ill-gotten gains is the fact that these entities themselves have got a linear regression constraint said that they cannot exceed they cannot just do whatever people want them to do which is why i find wishes incredibly naive like you seriously think that you can conjure up a spirit something that has got an eternal existence it is past more years than you and in the future will continue to exist after you breathe your last you think you can go and grab an entity an ancient spirit that has been in existence for that long and command it 
command is for crying out loud to do what you wanted to do, it's got power over you, dominion over you. We are made a little lower than the angels. If we are, okay, so there are people who believe that demons are disembodied spirits of the Nephilim. If we are made a little lower than the angels, we can also trust that even those demons are higher than us because they are the mix of human DNA and angelic DNA, which is loftier than human DNA. So it would be angels, it would be demons, and then it would be us. So when you're dealing with not only something that has been um, spiritually, you know, created loftier than you, but it also does not have a death date. It does not have an expiration date like you do. The finality, the you know, beginning that you have and the end that you inevitably will have. It does not have these meager 80 years here on earth. How in the world do you think that something that is as ancient as that was such a long ago start date and a, a perpetual end date? Like there is no end date. It's infinite. It's just a round. It's not going anywhere. How in the world do you imagine you can rock up and start to teach it, train it, tell it what to do? It's like kids coming into a classroom uh, in first grade and telling the teacher what to teach them. Telling the teacher, I don't like the two times table, please do the three times table today. Or telling the teacher, I don't like English, please teach me French. I'm sorry, there's a set curriculum and you will learn it whether or not you like it. If you don't like it, get out, go get homeschooled. Find yourself, somebody else is going to teach you exactly what you want and tailor it, tailor make it to your own um, desires. You little child, you are irresponsible. The demons look at us that way sometimes. Like when, when, when people practice witchcraft and they go, literally, you go to a Ouija board and you, uh, you know, summon a spirit, you know, moving your hands around on a Ouija board and it's spelling things and the entity rocks up and it speaks. You are calling something that doesn't have to answer you when you call it first and foremost and when it answers you it doesn't have to tell you the truth and when you tell it to go it doesn't have to go you've opened a door that has given it access to a world that they've always wanted access to why would they leave that is why people who dabble with uh, with, with dog arts like who play with Ouija boards and stuff get tormented all their lives until they either give them themselves to Christ or they seek out some kind of a temporary exorcism with exorcism in the Catholic Church or whatever like you are playing with things that are bigger loftier than you and they are your teachers and they will teach you their curriculum so once you open the door to them once you enroll in their school you're gonna learn what they want you to learn and you will graduate at the time they say you must graduate after 12 years as opposed to just maybe nine you are gonna follow their rules all the way up until you die and they get to also be the ones to decide if you graduate so nobody walks in a greater power as is Sangoma uh, than what it is that demons will allow them to walk in and nobody can do a spell that devils are not prepared to carry out and the thing that determines the preparedness of devils to carry out the work of a spell for crying out loud is whether or not God has given them that permission so in the same way that you're in the school of demons demons are in the overarching school of God in the sense that God Almighty is like the principal of the school and the principal of the school is the one that has got power to change the curriculum so if at all the student feels like they want to learn the three times table instead of the two times table today and they tell the teacher i'm not learning the two times table i want the three and this demon is like and this teacher is like my goodness this child is just mm, i can't deal i don't want to do what this child wants me to do i'm a teacher i'm going to teach what i want to teach but then this teacher goes then to the uh what is this the principal of the school and it's like you're not gonna believe it there was this like this disrespectful child in my class that is insisting you know over like lunch in the staff room or whatever they're insisting that they want to do the three times table instead of the two times table they are just so annoying sometimes god can be like have you considered this particular person or the lord can be like you must give that person what they want god for his own purposes it's written in his word okay that the lord has set apart everything for his purposes including the wicked for the day of trouble judas for instance it's not a dude that just decided to betray the son of man he had to do it he was set apart from long ago to be the one to turn his back against the son of man that prophecy might be fulfilled that is the sovereignty of god it is a tough pill to swallow for some but it is the reality of god's sovereignty do you understand what i'm saying jacob i have loved it esau i have hated he has predestinated everything from eternity past to walk in a particular fashion for his own um purposes and his own wisdom his thoughts are higher than ours and his uh, ways are higher than ours they're lofty we our thoughts are not his and his thoughts are not ours etc so 
he's in the heavens he does whatever he pleases and we don't understand the comprehensive suite of what god is doing and you know what that mystery of godliness we will never entirely uncover it i believe we're going to be spending eternity trying to learn god he will never ever be uncovered entirely but if anything it is the glory of man to to, to, to to seek out a matter the glory of god is to conceal a matter and the glory of man is to search it out so we are going to be glorified in heaven for searching out god for all of eternity we will never have the full comprehensive knowledge or understanding of who this being is and what he's doing and we will ever be learning there's work in heaven there's work in heaven do you understand so that's what's going to keep us busy for all of eternity so therefore his mysteries are unsearchable they are unsearchable and they are broad they are wide they are deep they're extreme and so for those reasons we can never really understand much of why he does uh, certain things but what we can trust is that he is holy and just and so can do no wrong and in believing that walking therefore in faith we then capitulate to his will when it is unfolding in our lives albeit being different or contrary to what it is that we would much rather have happen Job would have much rather not have gone through what he went through but he went through it and when he went through it he stuck to God because you know it is him that he trusts he is good he is holy he knows what he's doing and ultimately Job was you know proven as a man of God and was restored to everything that he needed lacking and nothing uh, so therefore if the Lord decides that which you want to bewitch that little boy in the corner I am not happy that you should want to do that but I am going to allow the devil that you want to use to stop that little boy from passing grade 9 I'm going to allow the devil to distract that little boy to make him sleepy during exams to make him sleepy when he's studying to make it difficult for him to get anything done and I'm going to allow therefore when this boy fails grade 9 for this witch that bewitched this boy to believe that his witchcraft works and so think there is power in the sorcery because I have given him warnings time and time again to repent to walk away from this darkness so what I'm going to do this time around is give him prosperity in the darkness so that he can go to the abyss to the end of his life he is reprobate and handed over without repentance because this is how much time I gave him to do better I showed him over and over again which is you would be lying to yourselves if you said that every last spell that you have ever cast has worked there are people on whom you know witchcraft lands like water on a greasy body it just slips right off like nothing happens you spend a thousand bucks and nothing happens you tip put people like dominoes and nothing happens you cast death curses understand guys if witchcraft was prosperous 100% to work you must understand less and less assassins would get hired to kill people people would just turn to witchcraft and do death spells because there is no um body trail there is no fingerprints there's no evidence there is no uh, th there are no tracks track marks that can be followed there's no evidence there's no dusting of fingerprints so more and more people would assassinate people using it like the murder of aka the people who killed him still stand to face prison and national um you know what is this like people in the country just in being enraged and whatnot persecution for the rest of their lives for having killed their darling or whatever it would have been better for whoever it is that hired the hit on that said celebrity to just go and do a death curse and that's it just do a death curse because then the dude would have died like naturally in a car either in a with a heart attack or car accident or whatever if they worked 100 percent of the time people would capitalize on the fact that there are no finger prints on witchcraft they would try and do everything instead there are still contract assassins um assassins being hired instead there are still people stabbing people to death there are still people um sabotaging in a very natural sense by participating in unsavory business practices their colleagues in the office so that they don't get the promotion and if at all an investigation was conducted and they got busted they could not only lose their jobs but their whole careers be blocked blacklisted from ever applying for jobs again in the future because of this very taboo practice plus they could also be splashed all over the media as corrupt human beings there are so many risks in doing things in the physical realm where you get your hands grubby because then people can figure you out but witchcraft grants you anonymity you get to just tip a person over and nobody has to know that you did it that is the the, the, the attraction that witches have to witchcraft but they don't use it they put their lives at risks at risk sometimes in danger doing things in the physical realm because witchcraft does not guarantee them success every single time next part my battery's low